sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Yes. I'm Jay Peterman. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Peterman from Seinfeld. That's John O'Hurley is here, man. Hey, what, what, don't wait. I know people always ask you about those times, but they were the greatest. I tell you, you're playing with the championship team and the championship season. It was there's nothing like Seinfeld. Every, and the thing was, everybody knew that we were standing in a cathedral while we were doing it. Yeah. You knew that we were going to be. It was going to be the greatest show ever. And you know what I used to say was, people would come into the show and they were extras or whatever. Mike, you know, they'd be casting them just for the day. And I'd say, I want you to do something. I want you to keep the script. I want you to write notes on it. I want you to remember what you were wearing, who you talked to, everything about this experience, because you're going to be watching this show with your grandchildren. And I can't tell you that about any other show you'll do, but I'm right so far. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah, great memory. It's, great. it's fun to look back and, and use it as kind of a barometer in your life mm -hmm. as to all the things that were going on. And it's been fun. It's, it's been, been a fun run. What was one thing about Jerry that you knew, you know, because you hear about folks all the time. Um, I'm sure if I was to ever step on the court with Michael Jordan, knowing his his you know legacy and knowing um, you know his legend, um, that it would be a lot of hype around it. But once you get on that court and you see something that they, mm -hmm. that that person actually did in front of you, that convinced you, oh, the hype is real. Uh, was, did Jerry ever have a moment? With Jerry you? was the he was. He would always stand around the set with his hands in his pocket like he was a tourist uh -huh. and with or with a bowl of cereal. I mean, he didn't. Ha he, uh, Jerry does not have that kind of commanding presence yeah. that you have. He's, you know, quite a, a kind of a quiet, unassuming guy contrasted to the, uh, the other guys. People were on the show, yeah. which were just really strong personalities. And that's really the way the show was kind of constructed is that Jerry was the keel of the ship. He was mm -hmm. kind of what normal was. Yeah. And then he had all of the craziness around him. So that was really kind of what it was. But Jerry was a very quiet guy and, and you know, lived for the show, basically. Yeah. When the show ended, he finally came up to me in 1998 and because I would travel the world as, you know, I just do. Yeah. And he says, I want to live your life. Where do you go? He wow. says, I want to live the life of O'Hurley Burley. Wow. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So I was the one who got him in all the trouble after that, that sending him to Iceland fault. and yeah, to yeah. Ibiza and yeah. all the other spots. Yeah. 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 I gave him a list of bucket. I gave him a bucket list and uh, he emptied the bucket. Yeah. You have you've had a great uh, you have a great life. Um, family feud, man. We all grew up with family feud in our yeah. household. Yeah, it's great, been some yeah. and legendary Steve, guys from yeah. Richard Dawson. Oh, it's been great. Steve great. Harvey took it over yeah. a few years back and does a great job with you. Steve. It's just great. <laughs> Steve is just Steve. He, yeah. does a, he does a great job with the show. But, it, you know, it's it, it's a classic American game show when you get these families that come on and they think they know everything yeah. and then you put the TV cameras on them and they are like deer in the headlights. I had one of my favorite stories on Family Feud was these two people come up to the face-off and I asked the question, which hopefully is up there on the board. So I said, <laughs> name a classic film that begins with the letter C. <laughs> C Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. I would have said I mean, Casablanca. Casa, that was up there. Citizen I'm Kane. Sure, they were all up I'm there. Sure but it was. Everybody was <laughs> Seabiscuit. He was as confident as he could be. Hilarious. <laughs> Did any of the families actually feud backstage, like maybe if one of them lost? Uh, no, actually, they, they were all, you know, television has a way of bringing out the politeness in everybody's. Everybody's mm -hmm. on their best behavior. Uh, the families w would be a little upset within them, in the, in the, in the feud there. Yeah, uh -huh. they, they would uh, go after each other. You shouldn't have said that. You should. Uh -huh. uh, but I had one true, true story. I had name something that you would add to a first date to make yourself seem more attractive. So we're going down the line and you'd say perfume, yep. cologne, you know, all the way down the line. Well, the fourth person is always like the old, you know, the grandmother <laughs> or something like that. So I looked at her and I said, sweetheart, I grabbed her hand, gave her a little kiss and I said, what would you do on a, what would you add to a first date to make yourself seem more attractive? And she said, she thought, I stuffed my pants with a vegetable. Oh, a wow. her, a grandmother, <laughs> a grandmother said Stuffed that. Stuffed my pants with a vegetable. I said, "Yep, that's a, another, <laughs> Give it a bowl. Another, huh? head, another head of lettuce in the produce section there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. John O'Hurley is here. Oh. We're gonna take your calls. Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Say hello to John. Hey, hello, John O'Hurley. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good. My name is Kalechi. I'm calling from Washington D.C. Uh, the thing I admired about you the most was your voice. I think you have one of the most amazing voices in show business. Oh, I want to know, were you ever um, a sports uh, interested in sports broadcasting?
broadcasting or if you ever did that? And if you did, would you ever be interested in doing it? Uh, sports, no, radio, I've never done. Radio has high standards. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like we <laughs> no. do here at Shade 4 5. <laughs> no. I, you know, thank you for that. I, I, uh, you know, I'll tell you a true story. Mine was the last voice to change in high school. I had this little voice up here like this. I was like 16 years old, and then in a, about a half an hour, it all of a sudden dropped down here. Really? Yeah, it, it was. It happened in a day, and uh, I, I don't know why, but um, <laughs> it was for a long time. I was the squeakiest little voice you ever heard. So you never know. You never know. That's right. Now you have one of the most recognizable voices in the game today, man. Congratulations oh, okay. with you. that. Yeah. And then on uh, Thanksgiving Day, this show is so popular. Uh, the national dog show presented by Purina. Uh, I'm a dog lover. Yeah. You know, I'm a pet owner. Yeah. You know, and so is Heather. Um, Tracy, are you a pet owner? No, I used to be, okay. but then he did bad things for the carpet and my dad kicked him out. Okay. All right. Thank <laughs> oh you for gosh. that sad story. Very traumatizing. <laughs> um, how many people watch this show? Do we get an audience? It's the number one show on NBC right now. We get an audience of 21 million people last year, and uh, it keeps on growing. It just keeps on growing. Well, you know, it's it's interesting. Yeah. I don't know that if this showed at any other time during the year that it would be as popular. It's in that perfect slot between the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade yeah. and football. So what do you put on television on the great family day of the year where there's something for everybody to watch? Uh-huh. The, per- the dog show is a perfect thing. It's for, If you're two years old or you're 92 years old, there's something there to watch. And we have 78 million dogs in this country, so we have the alma mater factor, basically. Yeah. People yeah. sit on their sofas and they, mm-hmm. they root for the dog next to them, which is really what the dog book is about, the yeah. perfect dog that I wrote this year. It really is about the idea that the dog that is perfect is the one next to you. There it is, the perfect dog. You can pick this up now. You go online and get on Amazon. Amazon, you sold out. It sold out the first day on Amazon, so it's been uh, pretty popular. Yeah. 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 All right, (laughs) John. Thank you for coming by. Great to be here, John O'Hurley. Make sure you watch that uh, that National Dog Show presented by Purina on Thanksgiving Day from noon to two p.m. I'll be watching, bro. All right. Nice to be with you. God bless you. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. All right. It's sway in the morning only on Shade Forty Five.